want to explain to you just a little bit about our $3 patterns. Um, they're a quick, easy project. Um, the cool thing about it is that you can personalize it and put whatever applique on it that you choose. Um, our appliques are sold two different ways. Um, we've got them as a single pattern, like this little ragdoll cat. You get the finished layout, which we show right on the front here. On the inside of the single patterns, you'll get all the pieces that you would trace off on your fusible and then assemble using this finished drawing. We have the dogs and the cats both in what we call an eight inch and a five inch size. So depending on what project and what size um, critter you need, you're gonna wanna maybe take a look at that. Or the other way that we have these are as our um, uh, pre-cut, pre-fused appliques. I've got a couple of them shown right here. This little schnauzer, um, all the pieces, they're first of all fused with uh, a heat and bond light. So it's a lightweight fusible. You're gonna wanna sew it um, if it's something that's gonna be handled or washed. So we fuse it, then we laser cut it. So all your pieces are pre-cut. The inside of the sheet gives you the finished drawing. And so you use your um, pressing mat to put that together. It just makes a super simple little project. So this is the eight inch, this is the five inch size. Um, we're limited on the, the numbers of dogs that we have pre-cut, but we do have them all in the single patterns, the dogs and the cats. So you can get those on our website. Keep in mind the single patterns you can get either um, as a digital download, so you can have it just uh, real quick, or if you want us to send you one, we'd be happy to do that. So what I want to do right now is just to kind of show you some of the little $3 pattern projects that we have. Um, some of the notions that we use, the different things that we like to use, how um, we simplify things. And I'm going to start just by showing you what we refer to as a doodle pad. Um, a doodle pad is anything you want to make it. You're going to start with a little simple six by nine inch notebook. And what you're going to do is make a cover that that little notebook just simply goes right into. A lot of our projects, I use a fusible batting. So um, you, you don't even have to quilt it. Um, I like to sew through all three layers. You will see the stitching on the back but it makes it just really lay down real nicely. And it just, like I said, makes for a quick, easy pattern. The little doodle pad you can do either as vertically or horizontally, depending on how you wanna put it on there. Some of the little characters might be a little tall, so just keep in mind, you might have to shorten them from the bottom. And then we just simply tie it shut with a little piece of twill tape. So super simple little project. Um, also wanna keep in mind that not everything has to have a dog or a cat on it. Um, we've got woodland characters, we've got houses, we've got some really adorable little, just little words that are cut out, home or love or hope. Um, and so those make nice little projects, maybe not, not as whimsical as some of the characters. Another one of our $3 patterns are the pot holders. Um, this, is, this is one of them. Now, this one you can either do the large or the small animal on. We've got the small animal on the pocket, but if you, just, if you wanted to do the larger animal, then don't put the pocket on, or you could put the pocket on the back, and then you can put the larger animal on the base piece here. Again, done with fusible batting. Uh, this is the double dog pot holder. Uh, this is the shorter version and behind me we have the longer version with the Italian Greyhound and the Vizsla. And these are great for pulling pots out of the oven when you want to have both hands covered and protected. Keep in mind that all of our projects are made with Henry Glass fabrics. Um, Caitlin and I designed this fabric for Henry Glass and so all the fabric that we use in our projects are Henry Glass fabrics. Beautiful, beautiful fabric. Moving on to the next project that we have are the doggy placemats or cat or whatever critter you want to put on them. Um, one thing I like to use, and you'll see this in a lot of our projects, is the wide rickrack. Um, it just adds so much and it's so simple to put on. And so we have lots and lots of colors available on the website. Um, again, fusible batting, which makes it super simple. And this project includes the entire alphabet so you can put your dog, cat, rabbit, whatever, their name on it. So makes it really, really cute. Or you can make it for your kids and put your kids' names on it. 
So one last project I have up here is our little treat canister. And we actually have the little canisters on the website. So if you're interested, you can purchase them on the website. Uh, made with fusible batting. This has this the little Greyhound on it. Um, closure is simply Velcro. And super, super fun little gift to give. Get some doggy treats, put them in here, give it to a friend with uh, a dog or a cat or some sort of an animal that you might wanna put treats in. We also just have these little jar cozies. And this is another thing that you can do uh, to give to somebody that's a cat or dog lover. You can fill it full of treats. Again, it's just uh, Velcroed shut. This one I did quilt the fabric and then I put the little um, applique on. So makes for a super simple little project. Back here we have a few more different uh, projects that we can show you. We've got a couple of different styles, actually a few different styles of pillows. This one right here uses um, our eight inch dog, or you can use the cats, or we've got woodland characters. Uh, we've got some little houses that you can put on there. Um, this one actually has a little button closure and fun little project, real colorful. The bolster pillow features um, the color, the wide rickrack as well with a button closure on the end. This one actually uses the five inch um, characters. This is one of the pot holders, a couple more of the little jar wraps. Now these are our pet Christmas stockings. And so dog, cat, whatever you wanna put on them. Again, we're using the Rick Rack up on the top, uh, adds an awful lot. So you might wanna keep that in mind as well. Um, we've got a couple more canisters. Um, we've got lots of different little holiday um, appliques as well. So if you wanna do something for Easter or Christmas or Halloween, keep in mind we've got the appliques that will go on that. Right down here is one of our newest pillows that we did and this uh, little bench pillow features two dogs. There again you can mix and match or put on there. The, pr the uh, little screen printed panel, uh, the road to my heart is paved with paw prints. Uh, we have those in the green dot, the uh, one with a red, red polka dot and then just on plain muslin. So those are available on the website as well. Um, this is one of our, just a little uh, storage cube. And basically what we did is we put the applique on a piece of Osnaberg. Um, on the back side of that, I have a kind of a medium weight um, stabilizer. You want it to be a little bit stiff. And so we're gonna put um, the fabric on the stabilizer and then we put the applique on top of the fabric and stitch it. And this is simply just Velcroed onto just a super simple, inexpensive little storage cube. So it's a really great way to kind of spruce up your kids' rooms. The last project that I wanna show you today is a pillowcase that we did. And this one is using one of our latest lines of fabric called Whirly Gig Magic. And it features all kinds of crazy little dragons. And we've got 10 different dragon appliques that will fit into these little pillowcases. Um, We've got quilts, you know, that coordinate with these. So keep that in mind if you're gonna make a quilt to maybe do a pillowcase that goes with it. And so this one we have as a single project, $3 project sheet as well. Um, we've also got little zoo animals that are uh, a little bit larger appliques that can go on here from our Moon and Back collection. Um, once again, all the fabric is Henry Glass Fabrics. And so, you know, Caitlin and I are designing new stuff all the time. And so, you know, we just invite you to take a look at the website. Um, if you wanna find these $3 patterns, you can go to uh, the section that's called Patterns and Books and scroll down to the $3 patterns. And that's gonna show you all the patterns. And of course, then we've got it linked in the description below. So if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to us. Um, send us a message, whatever, if you've got questions or if you've got ideas of maybe a project that you'd like us to do. That's a lot of times how we get our ideas is from our customers. And so we'd really love to hear from you.